Hey guys, come from Fantrade.com here with the My Xbox Live app. You can see it in the apps tray there. This is an official Xbox Live app from Microsoft, just released in the Google Play Store. Um, really been looking forward to something like this. Uh, there have been third-party options like Spark 360 or Leap Home that uh, work well for what they are, but um, nothing like an official experience. And uh, this app will really deliver. I'm going to show you guys uh, what this is all about. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, when you start, you'll get the splash screen. You can go ahead and sign in. If you haven't already uh, set your account up with the app, it'll ask you to to um, put your email address and password in that is associated with your Xbox Live account. Um, and then you're good to go. So we come here to the first page, which is the Spotlight page. Um, this is just where they put their Spotlight videos, like their Best of E3 video they have here, or they're uh, introducing Xbox Smart Glass. Um, and then just, you know, new trailers or anything they want you to see, uh, or anything they want to highlight. So you can just click that video, and it'll just load up fast. I'm on Wi-Fi right now, uh, and it looks great. So um, that's that. That's just video. That's nothing really special. Okay, and on the Spotlight page, or on every other page really, you can see um, at a glance how many messages you have right there. So um, I'm going to just go ahead and show you guys that real quick, touch the top of the screen. I don't have a tripod, so I'm sorry for the shaky camera, um, but I do not have a tripod at this moment. Uh, so you can see your messages here. You can scroll through them, see when someone sent them, and see if you read them or not. I'm going to go ahead and jump into a message here. And then it'll give you the messages. This is a voice message, so um, any other message, it would have the text, but this one is a voice message, so it'll tell you, listen to this on your Xbox 360. And then it'll show you the avatar of the um, of the person who sent it there. You can, also, uh, you can either reply to the message from the screen, delete the message, or you can block communications um, in, in that order, uh, the buttons you see right there. So let's go ahead and show you guys a reply screen. And here to just um, auto fill the two the two fill with your gamer tag. And you can also put more gamer tags if you want to message multiple people at the same time. And then you put your message, which can only be 250 characters, uh, down there. And then on the bottom, those buttons, the left one would be to send, and then the right one would be to discard. I'm just going to discard this for now. Go ahead and go back. All right. Go ahead and slide to the left, and that will take us to our main page so this is our social page or your profile um, you can see my game attack there boss 88 special Edgar says I don't see Xbox Live in the Google Play Store I have to respond to him in a minute uh, you can see boss 88 special there big Q my nickname and uh, my gamer score and then I have Xbox Live Gold and you can see my avatar down here this is actually a 3D animated avatar just like you would see on your Xbox so that's pretty cool that's something you will not get from other apps and I'm glad they've added it here um, and then on the right side of your avatar you can see buttons for your friends list messages which you already went through and beacons so we're gonna go go ahead and uh, check out the friends list feature didn't touch it and here just pull up your uh, friends list to show you who's online who's not and what they're playing uh, so you can just scroll through it uh, touch somebody's name uh, my friend just do it whose name is Dave he's playing uh, I think he's on Netflix you see their avatars as well you can message them from the bottom here get that message icon right there you can also remove them or if this is a friend you haven't added yet that'll be a plus button you can add them to your friends list uh, you can also see their most recent games uh, so you can see he's been playing Tom Clancy ESPN the ESPN app um, and all that good stuff. And then you can go over to the right again and see compare, which is allowing you to compare your achievements with your friends. Uh, that's if you guys have anything to compare. Right now, this guy doesn't play anything <laughs> I have except Ghost Recon, so uh, that's another cool feature. And then on the far right, you just have his full bio, so his name, his motto, and all that good stuff. Uh, go ahead and jump out. You can go ahead and add, um, you can go ahead and search for your friends and add them via this search button right here. So uh, you can add and remove friends via the app, which is pretty good. If you're on the go and someone says, hey, add me, you can just add them right there and uh, there'll be no problems. Let's go ahead and jump back. And Edgar, <laughs> Edgar's still messaging me. All right, go to Beacons. And Beacons are pretty much, um, I guess, they let you know when a friend is on a certain game and if that friend wants to play that game. So you can see, I'm going to go ahead and jump into Ghost Recon and uh, see who, it'll let you see who's playing it and who has it but is not playing it at that time. So uh, currently playing, I have five friends playing Ghost Recon, event, uh, Future Soldier. And I have a lot of friends who have it but aren't playing it right now. So um, that's a pretty nice feature to have. You can also remove a beacon if you don't want to uh, be alerted uh, about that game. Go ahead and go back. So you have a ton of stuff here, so uh, beacons are pretty nice. A nice feature X, uh, Microsoft added in their most recent Xbox Live update. Um, 
what else do we have? Going to the next pane, um, we also have our own achievements. So if we just want to look at our achievements, you can do that and you can jump into a specific game and look at a list of all the achievements you've unlocked and everything you don't have. Uh, so a nice way to um, figure out what you need to unlock on the go. Uh, sometimes I know I would use this to figure out what achievements I need while I'm in the game without having to open the dashboard on the Xbox. So that's a pretty nice feature as well. And then going back to the main, uh, your main screen, you can change your avatar's clothing, which is, in my opinion, the best feature about this thing. Because uh, I mean, I don't use that often. I don't change. I change my avatar's clothes probably once a year, so um, not that big of a deal but um, nice to be able to do it on the go so you can go ahead and press that shirt button there again I apologize for the shakiness of the video I don't have my uh, my tripod with me so um, here you can change your style which is your, your, are your clothes your accessories your props and uh, your different awards you can have like a, a best gamer in <laughs> Assassin's Creed word or something like that um, you can change your shoes, bottoms, tops, headwear, all that stuff. And then going back, you can change your features, which is your skin color, your facial tone, your uh, your hairstyle. Um, and then just the, I don't know if you can do it on the app. I know you can do it for body, but I'm not sure if you can change the, the actual face. Okay, so I, I don't know. On the Xbox, um, you can change the nose you can make the nose smaller or bigger you can change the eyes um but i think they only let you change the look of them and not the the actual size here um but that's still pretty nice uh pretty nice if you can delete this avatar you can save this avatar's outfit so you can jump back to it anytime you want and uh switch between outfits every so often and that's pretty much it that's the xbox live app um and, and i think that they're going to add more functionality in the very near future uh, because as you know Mark, uh, major nelson just announced that the smart glass update will be coming next week um and some users have already gotten it so that's why the timing of this app is so perfect and i believe that those features will either be added to this app or it might be added to another app but either way we have ourselves a full-fledged xbox live app i'm very excited about this i wish i could do a better in-depth video about it but without a bipod this is as good as i can do it um so that is it if you guys have any questions about uh about the app and want me to go more in depth about anything be sure to hit us up in the comment section on both youtube and fandroid quinnifafandroid.com thanks